So right now when I rotate my head, if I rotate it to the right 45 degrees, you can see it basically goes full 90 degrees. So let's use some texture transforms to kind of offset that. So we're going to go between this texture fit and the diffuse texture of the material. So we'll right click and type in transform. And we'll grab a texture transform. And for this to work, we need a 2D transform pack. And that will control this patch. And for the texture, we'll just grab that and pipe it through. So now if we increase the rotation, you can see it rotates, but the axis is way off. So we need to change the pivot to 0.5, so it's in the center. So now as I rotate, I stay centered. And now we want the head rotation to control this. So in here, we'll add a sender. Call this head rot. And this will be a vector three. Now down here, we'll grab a receiver. Select head rotation. And we want to unpack this. And we only want the left and right rotation to have an effect, which is the Z rotation. So let's just plug that directly into rotation here. So now it looks like my head rotation is accurate. So if I rotate 45 degrees in this direction, it's all matched up. Because we're offsetting the rotation that the actual mirror itself is doing. We could even have fun with this and multiply it by two. So our head will rotate, I believe, opposite the mirror flesh stuff itself. Which is very confusing, because I'm rotating my head, but it's actually not moving at all, which is kind of fun. It makes you feel like you're kind of a creature, not just in the mirror, I guess. Which isn't the initial intention of this, but I actually kind of like it more this way. So that's just a quick little way to use texture transform to offset things using whatever inputs you want. And that concludes this chapter.